Leaving the service center, man. Yo, what is technology if it doesn't break, y'all? <laughs> yo, only three months, yo. I never had to get service. All right, y'all, so I'm back at Winter Garden Nike Outlet. Haven't been here in a good while, so let's go inside and see what's popping. So I pulled up and behind the counter they had these joints. Guess what size? Size 12, my size. And then the Air Jordan Racer Blue joints, the fives that I attempt to win, but never won. And then I found, found them in the mall in uh, GS. But here they are, the Nike outlet, my size. I can cop if I want, I think so. She just let me see them, I don't know if I can cop them though. It's dope, I'm not mad at them. Now that I see my size in, in person, they're cool. Retail gain though, 200. See, I'm in the Nike outlet that I see in the background. And the, on the back wall, they do have these Air Jordan 6 lows. I never know what these are called, man. I do not. What's the colorway? But anyways, man, they're going for retail again. 200. These joints is everywhere, man. And it's going for the same price. 205 GS. Air Jordan 1 Miz SEs. They still got the Hirachis in here. Well, I've seen these at another store, but they ain't here for 120. But these are women, though. I like those. Multiple sizes, too. Let's get into it, y'all. So, they got these Nike Air Zoom GT runs. I like the colorway. The shoe is stupid light. They got multiple sizes. 175 is the price, though. And they got a different colorway as well. I'm not mad at this colorway either. I'm gonna have to give these a try, dude. Light as hell. Look at this. Multiple sizes in that as well. 175 is the price though, man. They're kind of steep. 80 beans for these. Why is my flash on? 80 beans for these are Kyrie 6 TB promo. Big sizes though, 13 and a half, 14 and a half. Look at this, a lot of half sizes, man. We passing, we passing. I like these KDs, KD 14s, but they're going for a buck fifty. There was a price that I paid the other day, the black for the black and red ones. I would have paid that nine nine dollars. I think that's a good price. I like that colorway. Um, but they don't got my size, unfortunately. I'm not mad at it though. This is the one I got, y'all, for nine nine dollars, size twelve and a half, and they're going for the same price over here. Oh, and I bought these last time I was here as well. Yo, for the same price, but these are huge sizes over here. The reason why I always show you guys these shoes, just in case the price change and some of you guys are interested in it, despite what I said, I don't like them. These are LeBron Witness fives. Hard pass for me, but just in case. And now I've been to three different outlets and all of them have this shoe. The LeBron 18 lows for 109, the Stewie's. They're dope, I like them, I do. I do have a pair. I got a size 12, they look like this one size 12 left. It's actually two, 11 and a half, et cetera. And if you guys care for these joints right here, the Soldiers, I think it might be a good hooping shoe for outdoors, but they're light, you know what I mean? They're very light. Yo, I thought I had a chance to try one of these on at least, cause I saw a big size, size 10, but that's the biggest size they have, yo. Air Max, two times. I like those. Pass $35, that's, see? That's the reason why I show it, cause I know that price went down. And this price went up. Element 55 for 80 beans, comfortable shoe. They got me in the black and white, black and white. And all black for 80 beans, if y'all choose to, multiple sizes. I don't see huge sizes though. I see the biggest being 11 in the all black joint. This look like the Jordan 200. I got the Super Bowl. Nope, these are Deltas, I guarantee you. Oh no, the MA2s. Not to be confused with the 200s. Wow, y'all see how I caught that? I like the colorway though. They're going for 125. Black Air Forces 1 lows in the building, y'all. 100 beans. 270 reacts. Okay, that's reasonable. Okay, I think this is overpriced for 129. There's only a few sizes left, so I guess they must be selling at that price. Who knows? What is not selling are these. Clearly, definitely not at that price, man. They all got small sizes, 10 and a half is the smallest I see. Rather the biggest. Another hard pass, another hard pass. Yo, I had so many opportunities to get this for a reasonable price and I passed. Now, 220 is the price you gotta pay. They do got some LeBrons in here. These joints, what are these called? I know the big, big band came out this weekend, which I passed on. These are the nines. I forgot what they call, but it's a pass for me, man. And they're going for 230, chill. It's not something I need to have, yo. Did like the Watch the Throne joints, but again, 230, pricey. Before I get out of here, man, let me show y'all what they got for retros. The dude got the um, City and 13 joints. I going for retail. I don't know what size this is. And they also got the core purple joints. This looks smaller, like a 10 and a half. It's available. 
Air Maxes, Vapor Maxes, EVOs, whatever that's called. Yeah. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the office, the studio. Not currently named yet, but I want to switch up the angles a little bit. And this is a continuation of the Nike outlet. This is a separate day, and it was related to a mall pickup that I didn't verbally discuss in the video, but I'm going to show you guys what I cop. I cop from three different locations, three different shoes, man. Peep it. Switch up the angles. Now I'm in the rows with the illuminated. Yo, I had to switch up just a tad bit, man. Same position, right? Obviously, I moved out from the couch to like my desk, my sitting area. Actually, that's behind me. I also swapped the lens out, man. So it's a little bit wider angle. So you guys get a, a wider sense of view. And I got three shoes to show you guys, man. So let's get right into it. The first pair of shoes, man, this came the day after I shot that Nike outlet vlog. I pull up to the Florida Mall in the morning and I cop these. these joints right here. By the look of the box, you guys already know what it is. But you don't know what colorway, man. Peep the label. These are size, what? Four and a half, not my size. I'm probably wondering why you got a four and a half. <laughs> and here you go. These are the Air Jordan 1 electric orange. Now I struck out on these on sneakers and everywhere else, right? I did run in to them one more time. I had an opportunity to purchase them, and I was in New York on Times Square and Champs, but they did not have my size. The biggest size they had at that moment was size 10 and a half, I believe, so I politely passed. Now, here we are months later. My mom recycled a kid's foot locker and turned into a foot locker, so now we got two foot lockers, and that recycled foot locker started getting shoes that they've been hoarding for a long time, I'm assuming, but when they reopened, they have drops every single day. So one of the days I was there, they had these sitting there. It was a four, four and a half. It was grade schools. I was like, why not? Picked it up, because you never know, man. I may give it to my kids. Who knows what I'm gonna do with this shoe. Every time I see a deal, or I see opportunity, I do purchase, and I kind of hold on to them for my children. Just they get of age that they can rock these, they can you know benefit from it. This is not the first time I bought a GS, man. Cop these, these are the essentials. Cop these off of International Drive, Nike outlet clearance store for I want to say 60 beans. Here's a creme de la creme. I copped these at another clearance store, Kissimmee clearance store at the loop. Copped these for 80 beans, y'all. These are the Air Jordan 1 shadows, the essentials. However, this is the retail pair, the electric orange for retail gang, 140. If you total up the total price I paid for these two shoes, it'll be equivalent to this. The next shoe I got, and this is no particular order, the previous shoe came from Foot Locker. This one came from JD Sports. I bought this later on that evening. Um, on my trip to the mall, pit, with another shoe, I just ran into JD Sports and I saw these behind the counter. So I was like, yo, why not? Let me pull the trigger. All black box, gold foil jump man on top of the lid. So you already know, retro, maybe. Peep the label. These are size 12, my size. Flat out, and these are the Air Jordan 1 Miz Coconut Milk. At least that's what it says in the box. Other places call them the Coconut Milk Particle Gray. So you guys call it what you want. I call it, I have them. I call them dope. They're nice. I like how clean they are. The materials um, is different though. It looks like it's suede around the toe box and also the back heel area, but it's a canvas toe box. I'm referring to the toe box on the top, not the wraparound toe box. This piece is canvas. And wherever you see that Coconut Milk colorway, both panels, that is also canvas, and a little bit on the back heel. Now, there's two different type of grays in here. I don't know what you'll call this first gray. Maybe that's coconut milk, I doubt it, but it got like a green tint to it. Uh, but so the darker gray than the gray on the back heel. I mean, that, that's different. Uh, Air Jordan Wings logo on the back of the heel. That's dope. Air Jordan Wing logo on the heel. Of course, it needs to be there. Air Jordan Jumpman on the tongue. Um, you got a rubber band outsole and you do have an extra set of laces. Now this shoe is an Air Jordan 1 Mid SE, so it does run premium price. So it was $140 plus tax. But I think they're dope, man. They have multiple sizes. I may or may not post that video, but I guarantee you it should be up now. If you guys want to take a look of how many pairs remaining and what sizes they have left. But this was purchased Tuesday night, so it may still be available, hopefully. And last, man, I then darted over to Champs and I picked these up. Blah, blah. Just by looking at the box, you guys already know what this is. Peep the label. These are size 10, not my size. These are the Air Jordan 3 Katrinas, man. I'm so, ah, gotcha. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all. Yo, he always pronounced these shoes. He called them a different name. Why is he saying that that's not what it says? 
Relax, y'all. Relax. I got you, man. I'm going to pay more attention, man. I'll be more deliberate on when I say things and why I say them. All right? Relax. Anyways, these are not the Katrinas. <laughs> these are the Cardinal Red Joints, man. I wish I had them. I do have them. I just wish I had them in my size. The story behind this is I shocked out everywhere. Champs had or got their peers in later the evening. So by the time I got word of it, there was only uh, small sizes left. So I was able to grab me a tent. Now this shoe is dope. The reason why I got the tent because you know what I mean, when what was left, so I grabbed it. Hopefully I can trade up in the future so I can get my true size. This is actually a shoe I did want it. I like the Katrinas that came out in the past. I think it was 2018, could be 19 possibly. But anyways, these joints, I want to compare the two. Um, I can see the differences and I can find some similarities off rip. Uh, one of the differences clearly the Jumpman logo on the back heel, also on the tongue. Um, the consistency of what I see uh, regarding the leather is, is same quality. You got the cement wrapped around the toe box and back heel. And the hue of red is a shade dark, li sorry, shade lighter on this shoe than this um, Cardinal Red. But, anyways, Cardinal Red joints. Happy to have them. Hopefully I can get my size sometime in the future. All right, y'all, that wraps up this video, man. I thank you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned for another crazy pickup video. I'm gonna show you guys all the pickups I copped in the last two or three weeks. I think I tally about 19 pairs of shoes in the last two weeks, which is crazy. I need to stop. That's crazy, yo. That's a lot of shoes, man. Also got some clothes that you may have not seen as well that I picked up, you know, I always pick up pieces. Maybe I should combine everything together or maybe I could just do the clothing in one video and then the shoes separate. I don't know how you guys would like that. But anyways, comment down below. Let me know how you guys would like to see that type of video. All right, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. And oh, let me know if you like this angle. Probably not going to do this too much. I just changed it up just to finish this video, man. But anyways, I'll talk to you all in the next video.